My name's Barbie the Weller and I'm a full-time metal sculptor. Today I'm going to teach you how to make bookends using repurposed materials like these wrenches. The materials you're going to need for this project is something to use for the base, the L shape of your bookends. And today I'm using a flat stock from King Architectural Steel. It's a hand hammered, which gives us this ornamental look, but you can also use a plate steel. You're also going to need something to use as your decorations. And I use everything from pipe wrenches, so like you have like one on either side, or you can use clamps, clamps are fun, and stuff like gears, but you're only limited by your imagination for what you're gonna use to make yours. So let's get started. In order to get the measurement for my base, I'm gonna hold my largest piece that I'm gonna use at about a 45 degree angle. And I'm going to take my tape measure and I'm going to measure up to the tallest spot. I'm getting seven inches here and I'm going right from that spot here. So I need to mark the spot on my bench where I want to hold it from. And holding it still, you want to mark from that mark out to here. I'm looking about seven inches tall and seven inches long that I need to cut those two pieces at. To cut my material, I'm just gonna take my tape measure and I'm gonna mark it at seven inches. I'm gonna take my square and I'm just gonna come right across here. I'm gonna mark this down. Once your piece is marked, you wanna clamp it and cut it. Now you wanna repeat this step four times. All together, you're gonna need four pieces the same size. Once you've got all four pieces cut, you're gonna to need to deburr each end of them. So you wanna clamp them in your vise and use a sanding disc or a flap disc to deburr each end. And I'm using a tiger paw flap disc by Weiler Abrasives. Now that you have your pieces deburred, we're gonna set those aside. The next step is to clean up your tools. Mine are rusty, and in order to have a great weld, good penetration, we need to clean the rust off of them. I prefer to use a little wire cup brush on a pneumatic die grinder. You can also use a wire brush like this. It takes forever. This is a lot faster, and if you have the capability of doing it, use the pneumatic tools. Our next step is to create the base for our bookends. We do that by taking two of the flat bar stock pieces that we had, putting the ornamental side in if you have ornamental. You want to hold it at 90 degrees, and if you don't have a block like this, you can use your square to hold it at 90. You want to tack weld it on the back side, check it to see that it's at 90 degrees, and then weld down the back side. And this will keep it clean on the inside and the front. When we're looking at it, you will not see that weld. Now that you got your base is welded, you want to take and grind that smooth. Now that you have your base is welded and cleaned up, it's time to put whatever you choose on your bookends. And I've got, you could do the pipe wrenches, you could do a horseshoe on each one. It's totally up to you. But once you get ready, once you figure out what you want, take and make sure that you stay off of this parallel here so that you don't go and weld something like this and then it doesn't work on your bookend you don't want it hanging over like that so keep your piece in that in that 90 degree once you get it take your welder and you just want to weld on either side on the top and on the bottom once you're done welding your project make sure you use a wire brush to clean any weld discoloration and a hammer and a chisel to chip any weld spatter It'll keep your project looking great and it'll protect people when they handle your projects. I also like to finish mine with a rattle can clear coat. This is rust -oleum. It protects your project if it's steel like mine is from rusting and it gives it a really great patino or finish. If you loved this project, check out my two books, How to Weld Silverware Animals and Horseshoe Crafts. All kinds of projects with step-by-step -step instructions like I just gave you. The link is down in the description. And make sure you stay tuned for more videos like this on how to weld metal art.